All right, guys, today we're gonna to try to clean up some spark plugs during the world famous internet or YouTube Coca-Cola and salt for the uh, Porsche back here. We're gonna see if we can't clean up those spark plugs and make them uh, newer again. Um, I have no faith in this, but we're at least gonna find out if we can. So with that, let's uh, open this thing up and let's pull those spark plugs out and see what we got. All right, guys, this is my 1976 Type 4 2-liter motor in the back of my 67 Porsche 912. As you can see, I have the dual real Weber's IDFs. I believe they are 40s. So let's uh, get to moving these spark plugs and see what's next. Now I have upgraded my uh, points and condenser to a electronic ignition. So these spark plugs here, and that one doesn't look too bad. Um, they have maybe 3,000 miles on them. I would say it tops 3,000 miles in the last year and a half or so. So if it will focus, damn camera, come on, focus, focus, a little bit there. So not the best, but uh, you know, not the worst either. So let's uh, pull the number three spark plug. And how does it look? Not too bad. Oh, come on, more focus. More focus. I need focus, people. All right, guys, recommend a camera if you want to on this. I've been using my iPhone. Um, this is, again, not too bad. I'd like to see a little bit more white on that uh, electrode down there. Let's go ahead and let's pull spark plug number one over here. We'll see how she's looking. All right, let's take a look here. And a little bit uh, more carbon than those other two on that uh, bank over there. And now spark plug number one. Let's get this one out real quick for us. All right, that's what we got here. And that's a little black there. That's got some carbon on it. it appears to be a little too rich. So we have all four plugs out, one, two, three, and four as they sit in the engine and you can see uh, they're all a little dark especially number one remember that was our worst one and then number two here still dark lots of uh deposits then three and four not as bad they're more of a, a gray i'd expect more of a brown but still so that one's not too bad either all right, so obviously uh, number one and number two, a little too rich on that carb. We'll have to take care of that, and uh, we'll see what else we can figure out real quick here. All right, so we're going to put these plugs in this uh, little food dish that we uh, had laying around the house and uh, went to the store and bought a Coke. Let's open this up real quick. Let me have a drink, and mm, yep, that's Coke. So it'd be better if it had some whiskey in it, but you know. For this purpose, uh, we're going to go ahead and pour in enough Coke to cover completely those four spark plugs. So just keep pouring. Keep pouring. All right. Now, maybe I can get some whiskey for the rest of that Coke. All right. Next thing is to take salt, and it's going to make a chemical reaction with the Coke on those uh, deposits. It's going to foam up. See it there? It just foams right on up. So go ahead and let that happen. And, um, you know, go do something for about 30 or 40 minutes, and we'll come back and we'll check on the uh, status of that a little bit more, just to make sure it has plenty of salt to do its job. All right, let's uh, give it some time. We'll shake it up here real quick, agitate it a little bit, make sure everything gets squished around and stirred up. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, so these plugs have been sitting for about an hour and a half or so. Just kind of take a look here. And wow, big difference. Just soaking. Look at that. That's There's a difference there now. It looks like there's still some carbon down by that electrode. Let's pick up this other one. Yep. But much cleaner than we were. That was uh, plug number one before. There's number four. Let's pick up uh, plug number two and see. And it's starting to do its thing here. So let me take a brush to it. And I'm going to just lightly kind of scrub on those and see if I can't get a little bit more off and let them soak for another few more hours. 
All right, we've put those plugs back in. Let's uh, see how she runs, if she runs any better, idles any better. Turn it on here, let that electronic uh, electric fuel pump do its thing. We'll tap that pedal a few times. Get some gas in those bowls, back in those uh, Webers. All right, let's see what happens. Hit it. There we go, there we go. Now that is a cold start. That's probably a couple days of sitting. Well, as you can see, oh, here's the puppy. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi, Sierra? Sierra, you wanna say hi? Hi, say hi everyone. So clearing the spark plugs, um, it did an okay job. And as you can see, we put them back in after we cleaned them and it fired right back up. And it did run a lot better, but not where it should be. And for two bucks a plug, I think it's, you know, worth the, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ah, ah. I think for two bucks a plug, and there's four plugs in this Porsche, I think it's gonna be okay to uh, do that. So without that, uh, you know, mm, yeah, okay. Just spend the uh, few bucks and buy new spark plugs. But. I do want to let you know I am working on a five things to look for when buying a classic early Porsche 911, 912, 901 car, which should be out in a few more weeks. So if you're into the early cars, the early 911s, 912s, be on the lookout for that video. Hopefully it'll be a pretty cool video for you guys. All right. So guys, I will see you next week. Thank you so much. And remember on Fridays, I do my Firebird videos. So if you're into American muscle cars, check out my Firebird videos on Friday. All right, guys, talk to you then. Bye.